Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf. I have found Mugamil here in the House of Remedies and I am to accompany her as she heads out to Athelion to gather some herbs. At least as that's the impression I've got. Hey, excuse me, what is it that you want? I'm quite busy enough in my studies to have little time to speak. Oh, my name is Piney Needles, and I am to help to guide you to Ithilien. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I've been a mite overwhelmed by Galatir's demands of, of late. He's a wise teacher, but his tasks are often far more daunting than he thinks them. Perhaps he's forgotten what it was like to be a novice. He has charged me with surveying our lands in the aftermath of the battle. I have taken careful note of the twenty-three leaves, flowers, and roots he wishes me to search for. But I think only of what I shall see in the ruins upon the Anduin, in Lost Athelion, and beyond. I must calm myself. I can see Master Galathir frowning at me even now. I must stay true to my task. My survey is to begin in Osgiliath, but it shall stretch far beyond that. If you are to be my guide, I ask that you meet me near the old bridge in Osgiliath. I can ride that far, but I prefer to do my survey on foot. Alright, so we shall meet in Osgiliath. The bridge has seen better days, of course. Hi there! What do you think about the city? Oh, I almost didn't hear you over the roaring water. I could understand that. In all my days, I have never crossed the great river, and I wanted to spend some time looking upon it before you arrived. All that lies ahead is now to me only thorough, distant gazes. Traver's Tale, and Old Maps. I know it is a land of striking beauty, even at a distance, but I know that there is an unseen danger lurking within it, else the rangers would have not to do but rest. Ah, <sighs> but rest does not come easy these days. My brother was gravely wounded in the battle, and I tended to him in the houses of healing after he was taken from the fields. I have never felt so powerless in my life, Pine Leaf. Master Galathir and the Lady Eorlet helped me ease his pain, but his wounds were too many and too great. He lasted the night, but by dawn death had claimed him. I have kept this blade in my keeping and I shall wield it if ever need arise. In addition to list, my list of herbs, Master Galathir has given me a strict list of locations to direct my survey. Perhaps some of them are familiar to you? Hmm. Let's see. The old houses of healing in Osgiliath, the ruins of Bar Aroth and Island Varen, as well as the island fortress of Kyr Andros in Athelion, and the road to Imlad Morgul? At the end, it makes a note of the rangers have been made aware of Milgaman's passage into Athelion and shall make arrangements at Henneth Anun. <laughs> okay, well, I would not want her to be shot by going too close to the Forbidden Pool. And so, you know them. Good. Uh, let us get started then, shall we? So, I suppose we should start with the House of Healing, since they are within the city limits. Imlad Morgul? I mean, really? Alright, well. I hope her brother taught her how to use that thing. We have arrived in the Houses of Healing. Now, let's see what's inside this place. Anything useful? Hmm. Fascinating. After all these years, some of the beds are still made. 
Sadly, any herbs that were once housed here have wilted. Well, yes, that is the case. So, nothing useful found here, then? I guess we should continue along the way. How about Imlad Morgul? We'll have to be careful there. The Road to Imlad Morgul. I can't think of a nastier place than this. With the possible exception of the... Towers of the Teeth? Or the Black Gate? Or anything that is beyond this area here because I'm sure that whatever is in the Atlanta Mordor is not going to be friendly so be careful just in case anything decides to come out hmm. so anything in particular that you're looking for here That doesn't look nice. Not at all. What do you say? Hmm. You need a closer look? Alright, what now? I do not wish to remain long in this place. The plants that grow out from the veil have a sickly scent to them and are likely of no use. Or worse. Well, I'm glad she agrees with that assessment. Now, let's see. Which should we go to next? We will have to be careful here at Bar Aroth because it is still in orcish hands at the moment, which is why I'm concerned about it being in the list. All right, well, I don't know about using a book as a shield, but okay. <laughs> Just saying, it could be problematic. You don't want to ruin the contents, that's for sure. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, we need to find... a proper place to survey if there's anything useful here. Definitely we need something that's more useful than these orcs. Oh boy. This guy's troublesome. That's what I gotta say about him. Alright. Anything yet? I hope we find what we're looking for quickly and get out of here. Well. I'm sure he'll prove to be troublesome if we don't deal with him now. Get ready. Hey, do you know where there are any good herbs at that we could use? I actually know. Probably getting orcs and orcs advice for herb one. They probably don't know the local herbology all that well. And two, getting good information from orcs is probably not an idea there. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Do you know where I could find anything useful here? As I said though, most likely the best thing you could do with an orc gives you advice is to do the opposite. At least that's the feeling I get sometimes. Oh, come on. I thought I cleared this ice out before. Obviously. The orcs all went in hiding, then as soon as the host passed, they came back out of hiding. That's all I can figure. Now, up this way. Alright, let's see if we find anything here. Let's see if we could skirt around a couple of these. Oh! Alright, that was well hidden. Well hidden indeed. Not that's going to save you any. Yeah. Up 
here. Well, what do you say? Anything useful here? Even with the orcs present, there is still a bountiful garden here. I shall gather some of the buckthorn and vetchling for Master Galathir. Alright. And when you're finished with that, we will get out of this place and head over to the next area. Ah! Here's the next location, and this is in Ranger Hand, so we won't have to worry about orcs this time. I can only hope that they have no trouble with your visit. Though, if you have permission to get into Hennath on noon, then they probably already know about you. And here are the rangers. They are still here. Now, what all can we find around here that could be of use? Any place that we can go? Probably down there. That sounds like a more likely place to find some herbs than... Over here, right? wasn't much of interest on the other side of the river, so let's see what we can find on this side over here. The river rushes around quite a bit. Ah, here is a nice area full of herbs. Any of these useful? What do you say? Ah, the old baths have such beauty, even in disrepair. But look, a sprig of Belladales and wild laxbur on the banks of the river. Hmm. All right. There you go. Ah, so that's why they went through so much trouble harnessing the river then, because these are the baths. All right, I suppose that makes some sort of sense. And now... Kyr Andros. Well, I don't know what's going on in Kyr Andros, but last I heard, that was a pretty dangerous place to visit. So we'll have to be wary. Here is Kyr Andros, and I've been curious as to what happened over there after the battle. So I think this is a good time to find out. It's certainly not in good shape. Though, that's expected because it was invaded as the enemy was gathering into the Pelennor. I remembered helping the heir of this place to... Well, I think this answers the question as to who holds the location. Yeah, certainly nobody friendly. That's... Oh, you have got to be kidding. <laughs> no deed! Oh, hold on. Oh, hello! I missed you! Oh, okay. She's taking care of the other one, apparently. I, I don't want to lose my herb list. And now it's your turn! You, I'll deal with you, and I'll deal with a lot of these. Whew. All right, let's have a snack and find out what's going on in this place, or at least enough so you could decide to scram. Oh my! Well, what do you think? This doesn't look very safe. I should say that this is near enough. <laughs> I will apologize to Master Galathir and Lady Illerith if I must, but such a place is far too dangerous for me. Well, at least she's got sense. Now, I suppose after all of that, we go to Hennethanun.
Here we are at Henneth Anun, and just remember, uh, this place is not to be revealed. Anything here that you may find useful? Not in all my days have I seen such a gorgeous land, Pineleaf. I have heard much of Athelion, but the tales all fall short in conveying the true beauty. I'm proud to report that I have identified many of the herbs Master Galanthir seeks, but I could not help to take note of the many, many strange plants I have never before set eyes upon. Some stirred memories of drawings I had seen in musty tomes within the old archives, and I can't help but wonder what powers some of these might possess. But I can see Master Galathir frowning down at these foolish thoughts of mine. I hope the rangers don't mind my brief company here. In their, in, in their cave, yes, I don't mean to disparage their choice of refuge, but... It is a cave. Hmm. Yet, I can't deny there's a homely warmth in it. Perhaps I'll take a few notes about Henneth and Noon for my own keeping. Yes, but until this war is over, we certainly don't want anything known about it. Now, the rangers brought back a mangled animal corpse from the wild. I was struck, it was struck with an arrow of workish design. The peculiar thing is not the arrow, but the state of the animal's body. The corpse is sickened and in a rapid state of decay. The rangers say that the ground surrounding the animal was devoid of flora. This is all very concerning. Perhaps it was unwise to pass Carandros by after all. The forces for Mordor at Kyrandros must be coating their arrows with something more vile. Something not seen upon the Pelennor battlefield, or else I would have recognized it, and therefore perhaps concocted here in the North Athelion. It is not why Master Galathir sent me, or an inquiry he would approve of, but... I must know what this substance is. I shall not accompany you to Chirondros, as my lack of skill in combat would only slow you down and endanger myself, but I beseech you, go and gather what you can of that poison so that we may study it. All right, I shall do so. I almost got a way to head out to Chirondros, but apparently we have a message from Onborn that I need to respond to. Hello? Ah, oh, Pineef! I have received a troubling report from my rangers, Torodon. He sent word that the Kundalar have laid traps along the road through Kirith Negan. Mere traps could not stop the host of the West, but I fear that they may soon devise a greater scheme to hinder our allies. The pass provides swift passage to the north, and it is narrow, and any that pass through it must fear an ambush. I thought most of the host of the west has already gone through. Hmm. Oh, there are more to come through. All right, I would ask that you scout Kirsnegan and destroy any traps that you find. If the Kundalore are still trapping the pass, you must defeat them as well. Nothing can be left to chance, my friend. Especially now that the enemy has suffered his greatest defeat in recent memory. When that is done, seek Toradun and aid him as you may. He has scouted the pass of Kirsnegan and now searches the northern reaches of Athelion for the enemy's encampment. All right, fine. Maybe it'll lead me eventually to to an interesting places for herbs. Ah, but that's uh, quite a bit still to be done. Will I be able to find those poisons for the herbless? Will I be able to disarm the bear traps? We have to find that out in the next episode 
of the complete finally.